Flight 116 is down. One Saturday afternoon, a teenager called Patrick loved to go to the coffee shop because everybody he knew went there. Patrick wanted to be a paramedic and someday drive the paramedic specially equipped Bronco. Most calls in town were unwounded. People panicked easily. They called the ambulance for everything. A kid fell off his bike and got three drops of blood on his kneecap. An elderly woman scraping potatoes scraped her knuckle instead, and she called the ambulance. There was an estate called Dove House. This house was built hundreds of years ago. This house is located off Rick Rimmon and Old Pond Meadow. Saturday at 5.25 p.m., a plane took off safely and settled into the air. Nothing was wrong. Laura and Ty had been in the last EMT classes, all necessary. Failure to pass this test was rare, but beca- not because it's simple, but because if you were motivated to start and stay, you were motivated to learn the techniques. Then there was a really big problem. Daniel, one of the flight attendants, heard somebody scream behind him, a horrible high-pitched scream. The flight attendant's voice was fierce. Bend over, stay down. The flight attendant's voice turned up like a boombox. One of the engines failed. Then the plane crashed on on the Dove House backyard. There was a lot of traffic for ambulances. So it took them a while for them to get to Dove House and help the wounded. Most were killed. Some survived. After the plane crash on the estate's backyard, a 10th grader, Heidi Lanseth, who was often left alone with the housekeeper, starts saving people by bringing them into the house and helping them. Wounded people were sad of what they lost and all the people that died on the plane crash. At the end of the story, choppers came to Dove house to save the wounded and bring them to the hospital.